Hi everyone, it's Nicole for Spellbinders, and today I'm sharing some Die Delights Wild Animal Scene Cards. The new Die Delights have tons of fantastic new designs, and I'm going to combine five of the new sets for my cards today. We're going to start with our Lion and Tiger card using the Lion Oh My, Tiger Oh My, and Wild About You sets, as well as the previously released Picket Fence Die Delights. I've cut out my die cut images previously to save a little time in the video. These are the Lion Oh My and Tiger Oh My sets, plus we're going to use some fun Stamper's Journey embossing folders to create some backgrounds. We're going to start with a 4 by 5 and a quarter inch piece of smooth white cardstock in this Bright Days embossing folder. When I remove it, you can see that we have this great kind of sunshine and sun rays design. I could have gone ahead and die cut this from some yellow cardstock, but I opted to die cut it from white today and add some ink with some yellow, a yellow ink pad and some of these life changing blending brushes. I'm going to apply the color to the embossed area. Anything that's embossed is going to pick up a little bit more of the color and it's just going to really make that embossed area pop. This is going to create a subtle background and a perfect backdrop for our lion and tiger. I don't have to take the ink all the way to the bottom of the panel as I'm going to cover the bottom of the panel with another embossing folder about two inches tall. That's so that we can create something to ground our images, which is going to be the grassy border from the Picket Fence Die Delights set. When I have all of my ink applied to this background, we can start building our background card with our previously die cut pieces. Here is the beach towel embossing folder and I've trimmed it down a little bit. This is a little taller than what I'm actually going to end up with. I think I'll trim that down about a quarter inch more. As I mentioned, it's actually only going to be two inches tall by four inches wide. I've got two borders from that picket fence collection that I'm going to tuck one directly to the background. Then we're going to assemble our lion and tiger and we'll put the other one on top so that it appears that they're tucked in between these two borders of grass. Let's go ahead and glue our first border right to the top of the beach towel embossed white cardstock. Then we're going to start assembling the lion oh my cute little critter. This lion is absolutely adorable and comes with tons of accessories. You don't have to use them all if you wanted to create a more traditional lion. You could also leave the mane off to create a female lion if you wanted to. I am die cutting all of the components for my card today using Fun Stamper's Journey cardstock. The mane and tip of the tail are die cut from hazelnut blend cardstock. The light yellow color we're using is called banana cream and then that kind of ivory color is called buttercream. The birthday hat that I'm assembling here is die cut from Beach Breeze, Huckleberry Fusion, and Candy Apple cardstocks. The Candy Apple cardstock is also used for these cute glasses. So the lion is going to have a birthday hat and these glasses. I think it would also be fun to mix and match these accessories with some of the other critter images from the Die Delights collection. So don't be afraid to mix and match these accessories with the other images. The nose was also cut from hazelnut blend cardstock, which is a nice dark brown color, and the eyes were die cut from black cardstock. There's a few additional pieces that I need to add to the lion, but we'll do those after we've already assembled the tiger. The tiger's body is created from tangerine fusion and buttercream cardstocks. We'll also be using that same hazelnut blend cardstock from the lion for the stripes. The buttercream color is used for the face and the belly of the tiger. 
The stripes for the tiger are kind of small and I think a jewel picker or crystal katana like I'm using today, something that can help pick up these little pieces or even a pair of craft tweezers like you see me using make this so much easier. The bow tie for the tiger was die cut from that candy apple cardstock. I could have just as easily die cut another birthday hat to put on the tiger's head instead. I think it's really fun that you can mix and match all of these pieces. Same goes for the bow tie, or you could even put the bow tie on top of the critters' heads to use as a hair bow to make female critters. I'm lifting up the edges of the bow to tuck the stripes onto the tiger. I've added the nose. For whatever reason, I think once you add the nose, it really makes their faces come to life as well as the eyes. I often put my little die cut pieces on a piece of white cardstock next to the project I'm working on. It makes it really easy to see what I have left and to keep track of all of these little teeny, teeny tiny pieces. He even has a little eyeglass piece, which I think is really fun and it makes these coordinate really well. Now the ears are really a good finishing touch for this tiger and they make his whole little or make this whole little critter come to life. He also has a top hat. This was die cut from some Riverstone Fun Stampers Journey cardstock and the band around the top is from Candy Apple again. I've also gone ahead and already tucked the other blade or border of grass down over top of the critters. This is die cut from Fun Stampers Journey Lemongrass cardstock. There's even these teeny tiny pieces for the tiger's tail to add some stripes, and I don't want to forget those. The final pieces we have to finish off our critters are going to be some pink cheeks for them if you want to add them, which I'm going to use those today, but you, you don't have to if you don't want to, and the pink for the insides of all of the ears. I did take a white pen and add highlights to the eyes. And I'm going to add glossy accents to the insides of the glasses, all three, the eyeglass piece and the glasses, and I want to add glossy accents to the noses as well. I want the glossy accents to go ahead and start drying, so I went ahead and applied that while I work on getting the rest of the pieces. I had forgotten to die cut my little pink pieces, and so I needed to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and add these to my critters now because I think they really add a fantastic finishing touch. These are all fairly small, so using a crystal katana or a jewel picker or a similar product really makes picking them up and positioning them so much easier. Sometimes I even use the tool in one because of that nice sharp point, kind of helps lift die cuts. Everything I'm adhering today is adhered with liquid adhesive, so I need to be pretty sure that where I'm putting it is where it needs to go because there's no moving it after it's dry. Got a couple more pink cheeks to add to the tiger. and pretty much all the die cutting for the critters is done. We will have some die cutting to do for our sentiment. Let's go ahead and take some Nuvo Crystal Drops and White Blizzard, which is an iridescent sparkly product. It's gonna dry clear, but have sparkle, and I'm gonna go over the polka dots on the birthday hat and also the cheeks on the lion and the tiger. Some Nuvo Crystal Drops in White Blizzard is used for the top of the birthday hat. For our sentiment, I die cut each word that I'm using three times from three shades of Fun Stamper's Journey cardstock. We're using Huckleberry Fusion, Beach Breeze, and Candy Apple, as well as a little bit of the pineapple color, I believe it is, 
for the yellow exclamation point at the end of the sentiment. I like to cut them three times and stack them one on top of another to make the sentiment stand out a little bit more. You could also go ahead and die cut these from cardstock adhered to fun foam with stick it adhesive for dimensional die cut words. After I have adhered my die cut sentiment, I have stamped a couple phrases from a stamp set that I had on hand that complement the sentiment and design of the card. And I'm going to put one of these phrases that has been trimmed into a thin strip up at the top of the card, adhering it with some foam adhesive. And I'm also going to stamp another sentiment in another color of ink. This first sentiment was stamped with blue ink. The bottom sentiment is stamped with red. And we're going to adhere this to the bottom of the card to round out the design. I love adding little small sentiment strips with die cut greetings like this, I think the design is really fun and it adds just a little something to the card. I made sure and didn't add a foam adhesive to the part that overlaps the loop on the Y so that my sentiment lays nice and flat. The final thing that we're gonna add to this card is some dimensional heart accents. We're going to tuck one onto the lion's chest, two up, abo up above the sentiment at the top of the card, and one centered down below the sentiments at the bottom of the card. This adds a little pop of color and some fantastic dimensional embellishment to this card that's otherwise completely made out of paper. And there is the finished design. Now my glossy accents on the noses of my tiger and lion have now dried and I want to go ahead and go over the top of the glossy accents with my white pen. I also want to go over the eyes to finish them off. Next we have a cute walrus and also penguin card with three sets from the new Die Delight set. So again this is two new uh, sets from the collection paired with the Wild About You sentiment. This time we're going to start with a background made with a little uh, Fun Stamper's Journey pool play cardstock trimmed to four inches by five and a quarter inches. To build the scene for this card, we're going to do a little stenciling with a waves stencil and some blue ink along the bottom edge of the card. This is going to give the illusion of water that we can tuck some little icebergs and floating ice into this design from each of these die collections. On the top of my background, I want to add some sort of stenciling as well to make that look a little bit more like the sky. And instead of opting for traditional snow, I opted to do some falling stars instead with the same color of blue ink that I used for the bottom of the card. This is gonna work really well with the embellishments we're gonna use for the design. And I want these cards, even though they are different scenes and different critters, to still kind of coordinate. They're still along the same kind of lines. We're just moving things around to work with the design of this particular scene a little bit better. So here's some falling hearts that I'm gonna apply the ink through really quickly and make sure and keep that only the, to the top part of the card and not go down below into the waves. Now I did die cut my images off camera again to save a little time. We've got our little ice pieces and then our little floating icebergs and I'm going to lay those out before I start gluing them down because again, I'm gonna use liquid adhesive and it's very hard to move these or impossible to move these once I have those glued in place. I've used a very light blue cardstock with a white glitter cardstock over the top for the ice. And 
and we want to start by the ground up. So we want to work with the background pieces and gradually work up to our critters. Just like before, I went ahead and laid out my die cut pieces on a piece of white cardstock so it's easy to see them and pick them up for assembly onto the card itself. The glitter cardstock is a great little way to add interest to the background pieces without overpowering the design. It gives the look of ice. Let's go ahead and start with our walrus. He is created with Riverstone and Tin Pail Fun Stampers Journey cardstock. We'll also be using black cardstock from Fun Stampers Journey for his eyes and his nose. His stocking cap, which is so super cute, is going to be die cut from Beach Breeze, Huckleberry Fusion, and Candy Apple. I tried to keep the accessories the same colors of cardstock from both or for both cards so that they would coordinate even though you can see they look completely different. The walrus tusks were die cut from whipped cream cardstock which is Fun Stampers Journey white cardstock. I'm using my crystal katana again to pick up any of these small pieces and put them in place. I'm using an acrylic block periodically while I'm putting this together so that I can keep everything flat until that liquid glue dries completely. Before I start gluing my penguin down, I want to gauge if I want to put this little piece of ice higher or lower. Depending on how tall he's going to be, I don't want to cover up the little jagged piece of ice there in the background too much. So I opted to go ahead and tuck it a little bit lower. The penguin is die cut using black and whipped cream Fun Stampers Journey cardstock and the beak and the feet were die cut with citrus cooler orange cardstock. His accessories, the earmuffs and scarf, were all die cut from Huckleberry Fusion and Beach Breeze cardstocks. Don't forget, if you don't want to make this a winterish scene card, you could always go ahead and use the birthday hat or top hat for these critters as well. Their faces are starting to come to life now that we've added noses and eyes. We have the earmuffs to add and then the pink cheeks. I'm adding my little dabs of glue and then we're going to add the little pink to the cheeks. I'm going to flip the panel over and trim off anything that's hanging off the sides. A white pin again is used to add highlights to the eyes on my critters. Glossy accents is used for the beak and the nose. There were an awful lot of bubbles in the first application of the glossy accents, so I scraped it off kind of quickly and went ahead and reapplied that and applied some to the feet as well. I'm using a stardust pin, which is kind of glittery, to add some little dots to the earmuffs to give them a little bit of texture, and then a white pin to add a plaid design to the scarf around the penguin's neck. We'll add a couple of highlights to the cap on the walrus as well. Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard are used for the cheeks on both the penguin and the walrus, and a fine tip black pin is used to add eyelashes to the penguin. This time we're going to use the Hooray Sentiment from the Wild About You die collection. I die cut this three times from Candy Apple cardstock, glued them one on top of another, just like I did on the first card. And this time we're putting the sentiment up in the sky, up above the ice pieces. The red really pops off of the blue background. 
I also have added two stamped phrases above and below the die cut sentiment and I'm finishing with these heart accents just like I did on the first card. One on the walrus and several spread throughout the rest of the design. This adds a fun little punch of color and a great little finishing touch. Here's a look at both finished cards using the new Die Delights. I've used five different sets here for these two fun birthday themed cards. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this set of two die cut cards using the new Spellbinders Die Delights dies. The supplies I used to create these cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Spellbinders dies that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll catch you next time.